so we're back with the grand finale of Strawberry Magic. I believe this will be our last episode. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than the other ones, which were fairly long. If you want but to go back yeah, we're going to see how we go. The same place in which you left. Open the suitcase and choose the place using the arrows. We've probably heard this intro like a million times now, so we're just going to jump straight into it. Um, we're up to the pantry and getting a banana. I, I just happen to remember it is a banana that he has to get. Um, doing exceptionary stuff. I'll, I'll explain it as we go along. I think Strawberry does it anyway because, you know. Strawberry, wake up! All of the dishes here look very ordinary and the magician wants the most exceptional food here. Help me! There are four kinds of food on each shelf. One of them does not belong to the group and is therefore exceptional. You have to take it out of there and put it on the top shelf. Seems legit. Okay, so um, basically you need to pick out the one that's different from everybody else. So as we can see on the top row here, all the stuff is not baked. We have a cake and it's not healthy. It's absolutely not supposed to be here. So we'll put the cake up here. That's right. Cake is the exception. Since it is a baked product, not like grapes, the pear and the apple, which are fruit. And everything down here looks like junk food. I think I'm not too sure what this is. This is, looks like ice cream. This looks like chocolate. And this here, I'm not even sure what that is. That I guess it's a candy wrapper or something. I don't know. It's a piece of candy. Um, but the bread doesn't belong, so. That's right. Bread is the exception since it is a baked product. Not like ice cream, chocolate and candy, which are sweets. Now I'm not too sure like with the bottom shelf what's going on here. I think this is supposed to be cheese. I have no idea what this is. Yogurt. Yogurt. Okay, it's yogurt. I would have never guessed that. It looked like a bowl. And this, I'm guessing, is milk? Milk. Okay, so all this stuff is, um, whoa, there's something going on with the pot there. <laughs> it's got, like, no bottom, or part of the bottom missing. It's not perfect. Um, so, they're all dairy products. Donut. The donut, again, is baked, so... That's right. The donut is the exception, since it is a bakery product and not like yogurt, milk and cheese which are milk products. I mean, I guess. I'm not too sure what these are down here. I think this is a carrot. Maybe that's a turnip. That looks like a pickle or something. I'm not too sure. But we're going to take banana because I know it's a banana that, for this one. And as you can see, the differences along here, all these things are baked, but the banana isn't. So it's the banana. That's right. Banana is the exception because it is a fruit and the tomato, the carrot and the cucumber are all vegetables. Oh, it's a tomato and a cucumber. I would have never guessed that. Um, aren't tomatoes technically a fruit now? Not a vegetable? I'm not sh not sure. I think back then um, tomatoes were known as vegetables, but I think now they're fruit. I'm not sure on that. I'm not 100%. <laughs> but anyway. That's right. The banana is the exception since it is a fruit and all the others are bakery products. I don't believe this. All he wanted to eat was a banana. Why didn't he just tell us he wanted a banana? That's not so awful, Strawberry. He's a little strange, this magician, but I'm running off to give him his exceptional food. I still believe that he can help me, even though he couldn't perform any special magic. So yeah, I think back then, tomatoes were known as being vegetables, and I think that was even taught in, like, Jumpstart second grade, um, with Frankie the dog. Quick, I'm hungry. Bring me the exceptional dish. Who do you think you are? I'm not your slave. Fine. You know what? I, I don't I don't even care about you. You you can take this banana and you can shove it. Here, here, take this banana and I hope you choke on it. No pun intended. Wonderful. This Insert is just what I wanted joke to make. here. You know, now that I've calmed down a little, I can tell you. The magic didn't work, perhaps because whenever I do something really big and important. I have to put on my great magician's hat. Unfortunately, the hat has disappeared. Someone who wanted to be as great as I stole it from me. I'm sure that it was one of the pupils in the magician's school. Oh well, never mind. The police are taking care of the matter, and I'm sure I'll get the hat back soon. I'll do this nothing story. about it at all. Take this note and bring me some vegetables from the magic vegetable garden. Because when I am too superior to do it myself. You, in. you know right. what? If you bring me vegetables from the garden and help me find my hat, 
Maybe I'll be able to help you get a little closer to the three items of magic. I mean, oh, by the way, guess. why don't you go up the steps and meet my beautiful daughter, Abretta? I'll go for a little walk outside. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You can meet my beautiful daughter, Abretta. And I'll go outside and you can do whatever you want because, you know, no one's going to question it at all. I have no idea what's going on with that cat's leg. It like extended and stretched out and looked all weird. We'll go upstairs anyway. We'll go see Aberetta. I mean, that doesn't help it sound any less creepy. Strawberry, why are you in here? I've been mad at you for a long time, and if you think you can get away with putting beetles in my bed, I'm warning you. My father will make jam out of you. Strawberry I'm jam so is so sweet. I promise I won't do it again. Honest, I really do want us to be friends again. Okay then. Ronnie, why are you being so nice to that show off? All she does is look at herself in the mirror all day, posing and saying how beautiful she is. Stop it, Strawberry. Because of you, this sweet girl doesn't like me either. How did you ever get into so much trouble with everyone here? Now I'm in trouble too, on account of you. It was so funny watching how scared she was of the beetles I put in her bed. Just you wait until she starts driving you crazy over her clothes. Her clothes? Why is so much emphasis on what letters here? to show you that I want to be your friend? Just love to eat a sugar coated cherry. Oh. And then we'll see. The sugar coated cherry. I hate the sugar coated cherry. Oh. I don't want to do the sugar coated cherry. I wish Here, I could I'll buy. Talk. I won't speak to you until I get the sugar coated cherry. Oh, that's a bit rude. I never said I had it right away. I didn't have it like magically like that, you know. Let's go outside then. We'll make a big loop around because we'll get the star, we'll get the cherry, and on our way and the hat, and on our way back we'll do the vegetables and all that fun stuff. Woo! So we'll start off by getting the star first and magic wand. Woo! This game is really weird. Like it's an odd game. Oh, I never really realised it. Now that I've replayed through all of this. And I played a lot of edutainment games in the past. This game seems very um, low budget compared to other edutainment games. I think they tried to do too much work on the 3D effect rather than working on little clunky bits. And I think coding probably um, restricted them a lot with this game. It just it seems very poor compared to other edutainment games or even games like um, adventure games like Land of Mist, which was extremely hard, by the way. Um, but 3D. I'll have to play Blackstone Chronicles because that is definitely a 3D game that um, demonstrates the error and what you could actually make if you know how to do it properly. Do you have the guiding star? If you do, give it to me and I'll finish making you your magic wand. I just think this game didn't have the budget to be as good as it could have been. I don't think it had the team either because I think there wasn't many people that made this game. Very good. Here is the wand. Now everyone will know that you are serious and intend discovering the secret of the magic. Okay. Strawberry, from today on, you are a citizen with equal rights of magic land, and you are no longer considered lazy now that you know what you want to be. I hope you find the magic. Okay then. So we have uh, the magic wand. Thank you, and goodbye, Mr. Carpenter. You've helped everybody. The carpenter. He seems more like a builder who, you know, someone who does woodworks. But I guess they're also called carpenters as well, so there's that. Oh, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, for some reason this game just seems to lack a lot. It's just basically, in order to do this you have to go over here and do that. And it's just, thinking about it, it's pretty bland. 
It hasn't got much of a structure around it of characters. Get the cherry. Well, do you have money for me? I mean, I have a coin. a coin. I'm sure that will make up for all the vegetables I gave away for free. Thank you very much. That will really be of help to me. Here, take a cherry. What do I think you will do with the cherry? Well, I have a contest to see which is sweeter. <laughs> which is sweeter? A contest is like two. Oh, he gave us two cherries. That's really weird. I don't. I don't get the joke with that one. Is this supposed to be a joke? But what did you do to the vegetable vendor? Oh, Alright, we're done here. Um, oh yeah, we have to come back to this guy because he has something for us too that's really useful. I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a Beretta and a Beretta loves me. <laughs> he won't be saying that later on. Let's, um, oh, I have to show a magic wand to this guy, because we can't get into the uh, great school of magic. Uh, hey, where are you going? You can't go any further. This is the school for magicians, and only people who have magic wands are allowed in. If you have a wand, show me. If not, don't bother me. I have a wand. Oh, See? See this, you schmuck? Take it. Here's the magic wand. Can I go in? The magic wand proves that whoever has one is seriously interested in learning how to become a magician. I don't know why the screen so keeps jolting like that. It's weird. You'll be allowed to go in. I'll soon test to see if you have the talent to become a magician. Okay. I'll show you one card, then I'll turn it back. With the fast movement of all great magicians, I will then replace the cards. Then, you will have to tell me where the card you first saw is. So basically you want me to follow the card. <laughs> this is your card. Follow it. See, that's more simple. Why didn't you just say that? Great. Am I allowed this in now? Your card. Now you can enter the school. I know magic. I'm a magician. Because apparently I'm not blind, and if you're not blind you can be a, a magician. <sighs> apparently people who are blind are actually not 100% blind. They can actually see like shapes or shadows. So no one's actually 100% blind. Now, usually with this, we end up with a hat that's sort of pointed and curved, a bit like this picture here, but it does randomly change and sometimes it doesn't make sense, so um, we'll have a look. A oh, we suspect. got lucky, we actually I got the hat. Which of the students here looks exactly the same. And he's just passing because he won't let us click on him. But sometimes it asks for things like a guy like has a hat like this or a round hat and looks nothing like a wizard's hat, but then later on it'll be that, that triangle shape again. Excuse me, sir. Hey, You have this hat, yeah. and I believe it's I not yours. I believe there's a hey, juvenile you. sentence for this, since you're, you're probably hat. not an adult. It Stole it, since you're in the School of Magicians. Right, Before Hogwarts was a thing. It. It's amazing, they, they probably inspired Hogwarts, thinking about it. <laughs> that clock is very lopsided. On, on the game. Um, on the school. <laughs> Let's go back. By the way, I know this game's jolting and doing some weird things, but I'm actually playing it off of a CD, so... It is actually a le legit game. I play all my games off of CDs. I own all the games you see I'm playing. I don't use, like, emulators online or download ISOs or anything. I actually own these games. I do use a virtual PC in order to record them, though. Even though I have a retro PC, I can't actually feed that image through onto the recording equipment. It's, I've tried adapters and things, it just doesn't work out well, so it's better to emulate it off of um, Virtual PC. Again, if you guys want to use that and you want to play Strawberry Magic yourself, you can download them because I've mentioned them in the links of the Strawberry Magic before. It, second and third episodes definitely have the downloads there. 
I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a Britter and a Britter loves me. I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a Britter and a Britter loves me. I do not love you. <laughs> You're weird. Oh dear. He's in love with her too. Are you saying something, Strawberry? I thought you didn't like her. You make out you don't like her anyway. A very odd relationship, these two. Okay, so we'll get... Oh, we got to do the sugar coating first, though. Not the sugar coating. I hate those twins. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Now you have to start again. They legitly say that, by the way. And everything they say is opposite. And it's a bit confusing. Because um, even though you have to do what the opposite is, they'll say, don't get the small magic wand under the table. So you think, oh, I'd have to get the small magic wand on top of the table. No, you need to actually get the large magic wand, because everything is is um, opposite <laughs> completely, and it's kind of confusing sometimes. But what did you do to the vegetable vendor? Apparently they have uh, Ronnie's voice now. Ronnie? These two funny guys know the magic of how to make the best sugar coating in the world. That's a Their bold statement. A very carefully guarded secret, and that's why it was divided up between the two of them. Each of them knows half the things needed to make the sugar coating. If you give them a piece of fruit, they'll sugar coat it for you with their own special magic coating. Okay. Sounds great. Here, take my cherry. Turn it into something amazing. I know you're not, but Here, turn it into I something cherry, amazing. And really would like you to coat it with your world-renowned sugar coating. Strawberry, do you remember that we ordered strawberries from the vegetable vendor? We ordered strawberries from the vegetable vendor. And you hid inside the box! You hid inside the box! And then, when we poured the strawberries into the pot... Yeah, the pot! When you were inside, you gobbled everything up and didn't leave anything for anyone else! Not even a drop! Because greed. If you want to sugarcoat the cherry, we'll tell you the ingredients and you will prepare it yourself! Ronnie, be careful! Those two never reveal to anyone what they put in the pot in order to make the sugar coating. I don't believe them. They won't tell you. Listen to me. They will tell you what ingredient is needed, but not where it is. And they will even confuse you on purpose. Do the exact opposite of what they ask. Put the big jar of honey that is outside the cupboard into the pot. <laughs> Honey, a big jar of honey that's outside of the cupboard. So we go inside the cupboard and we get the small jar. That is, is that the honey? I would have guessed these would have been honey, but I can't tell. Honey. Okay. Well, brother, we're no match for him. He's discovered the secret. The secret, huh? Oh. big magic wand which is under the table into the pot. Okay, well, that's kind of easy. A magic wand. I feel like messing it up just so you can hear them say that one, two, three, eight, nine, ten thing. Cause did you not put it in there? A magic wand. Well, brother, we're no match for him. That was weird. He's discovered the secret. I don't know what these the stick things are. That is under the table, into the pot. I don't know what these things are. Are these something? What are these? A stick of vanilla. A stick of vanilla. Actually, they never asked about stick of vanilla, so I kind of want to see. What happened to you? It's not even the right item. Ah. Oh. One, two, three. There we go. Eight, nine, ten. Now you have to start again. Put the small jar of honey that is on the table into the pot. Okay. <laughs> they said on the table, so it's under the table. Honey. I just wanted to do that because that's what they say. Well, brother. We're no match for him. He's discovered the secret. I don't think they've ever asked for vanilla. Yeah, they've never asked for a stick of vanilla. Not once. And I never knew that you could pick up the vanilla. Well, brother, we're no match for him. Because they never asked for it, and I just thought it was part of the, the back background. Oh dear! Oh 
Oh dear, how did he find the right ingredients? Put the big magic wand that is outside the cupboard into the pond. They're very specific. A magic wand. I'm assuming this is a small one. Strawberry, you've discovered here the secret of the great magic that we have tried so hard to keep. Well, good for you. We're happy to know that you're not as stupid as we thought you were. Here, we'll gladly sugarcoat the cherry for you. You can come whenever you want and eat as much sugarcoating as you want. It's really tasty, isn't it? Even though they were angry with us for eating it in the first place. It looks like you've just turn my cherry into an apple Goodbye. so I have a toffeed apple a sugar coated apple what is this it's all so stupid that I don't know what to think they say that I've discovered a secret what do they think that I have to appear on the cooking show or something I have to present a magic trick at a party real magic Ronnie I hope that now you understand me <laughs> Oh, I almost choke laughing when I think of how you'll stand on the stage and tell the children how to make sugar coating. <laughs> That's it. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. You're always tired. And actually, I mean, it's a well-renowned sugar coating apparently, so everyone will probably want to know it, so I guess it's a backup plan if anything fails. I turn my cherry into um, a toffee apple, so you now have an apple. I hope a Beretta doesn't mind. <laughs> 